In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the different page templates that come with the Buddy Boss theme. So right now it's using the default template. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so you can see the default template has our content and then has a widget in the sidebar. If you've added widgets there, so I'll show you how to do that. If I go into appearance widgets, you will see that we have page sidebar. If I put a widget in here, then the default template is going to display it in the sidebar. If I take the widget out, let me just do that for a second. It's going to go to a full width layout, but let's put it back in here. And I'll show you one more thing we can do with this template. We can go into Buddy Boss theme options, sidebars, and we can set the page sidebar to the left. And it's going to do that. So going back into our WordPress page, so that's the default template. We can switch it to full width page. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so the full width page just removes the sidebar. You would use that because you might have some other pages that do have a sidebar. This will allow you to some pages without. And then we have one more template here, which is the full screen page. So let me update that. And then let's see what that looks like. So we'll refresh the page and you can see it takes up the full screen. There's no header, footer, or sidebar or anything. And we have some options like we could adjust the padding. I could make it, let's say five. If we really want to go close to edge to edge or 50. And there are a couple of reasons we include this template. So one is that you might want to use it for marketing pages. You might want some landing pages that don't have your header and footer and everything that are really just kind of focused squeeze pages without distraction. And the other is that you might want to use these for a private network. So let me go into Body Boss settings and we'll set the site to be private. So now if I come to the site logged out, this URL wouldn't work because the site's private. However, you can add it as an exclusion. So we'll grab that URL and paste it here as an exclusion. So now that's part of the public content. So if I go here now logged out, it will work. And so this is really useful for a site that's private. You might want to have some pages that are marketing pages, other pages that talk about the company, privacy policy, things like that. And you can have templates that don't include the header and everything. So I'll show you, for example, if I edit this page and set the template to default, then all these links will show up. Even though if you click any of them, you, you can't really access them because it's a private network. So that's why the full screen page can be really useful in that scenario.